Good morning, Internet. So I woke up and look who's sitting right next to me. She wanted to sleep next to me. No more bed for her. So we spoke to one doctor, we're just going to talk to another doctor, and the main uh, doctor she's been seeing said she can go home. We're just kind of waiting right now. 30 more minutes of waiting, and then we're going to start the ball, kick the ball off. Wait, what was I going to say? We're going to kick the ball off. No, we're going to get the ball rolling. Thank you. You're the one that's in the hospital. <laughs> Obviously you can tell she feels a lot better. So don't ask me how I got it. But I got one of the doctor's numbers, so I just texted directly and asked if it was happening, and he said it's happening now. High five, baby. Can I get that high five you've been promising me? I'm just so happy. I know. So I'm so happy you're going to get to home, too. No more hospital. You don't want to go to sleep on the bed one last time? <laughs> Scary being here. I know it is. I don't remember how long I was here. I think I was not here, but I was... I think two weeks, and then I think it was like a month in rehab. Just scares me not knowing, you know. Yeah, you know, the not knowing is the worst. I'm just happy. I feel hospitals are really good for reviving people, but then once you're kind of better, I feel like the best medicine is just being home with family and things like things that are familiar. I feel like when you're in the hospital and you're already feeling better, like what Allie's doing, it just there's no motive. There's motivation, obviously, because you want to get home. But I feel like once you're actually home, you feel a ton better. And I think they've narrowed it down to I think it's called Denji. I think I've been screwing it up. Denji fever, or Ch I'm not going to get the second one. Chikokua fever, and we've looked it up. And even if it's one of those things, because it takes like 10 days to get you know the results, because it's a very specialized it's thing. So much antibiotics. Yeah, so she's been just loaded. They've been treating her for that stuff anyway. Even if it's those things, there's no necessary cure for them or vaccine for those things. So the only thing they could do is just keep her on. I've read that the only thing really you have to do is just like any fever is just kind of like you break the fever and then you have to just wait it out because fevers suck no matter what they are. Even if let's hypothetically say it's dengue fever, there's nothing they could do other than what they're doing now. So she would technically have to wait like 10 days to find that out. And then another few days to just do, by the time they found out, basically what I was trying to say is that she'd already be up and running. There you go, baby. You kicked some butt. You showed the internet that being in a hospital sucks, but you can do it. It's scary, but you can do it. You can do it. This is like my worst fear is being in a hospital. Plus needles. It does not bother me too much, but hospitals bother me. And the worst part is that we're finding out that I think six or seven of the people that are on that trip to Hawaii are now in the hospital. This just keeps climbing. And we're kind of pinpointing it to possibly the volcano. I think I already mentioned that. Because it was nobody's fault. It's just an accident. Like, uh, you're in nature, you're bound to get bit by something. It was the mosquito's fault. So it's like six or seven of the people, which is crazy, which makes me very, very happy. It's kind of messed up to say, very happy that Danny and I didn't go to that. We had to go to the show. Otherwise, I'd be in here as well, and Danny would be here as well, and it would just be up to eight people. If you're in Hawaii, like I said yesterday, wear bug spray all over your body, even your eyeballs. Actually, don't put it on your eyeballs. It's a terrible idea. But wear bugs. Be careful what island you go to and be conscious of where you go. Yeah. Go into like a, a real rainy for rainforesty area. Yeah. That's where we were. It's like the rainforesty and stuff. Talking Basically if you're gonna do some adventure stuff, just be careful. Just be extra careful. And just use this as, as an example that mosquitoes are mosquitoes like do they serve a purpose or are they just worthless con uh, creatures? Just like allow you to make dinosaurs. <laughs> more stupid questions you're asking <laughs> there she is she's back to normal of course in the last day i figure out this is a freak are you going back bed this moves oh. that's what i was telling you this thing moves it be careful oh. but yeah the last day i'm here i found out this is an actual fallout bed 
No one wanted to tell me that. Oh, and I found out I was wearing this backwards the whole upside down the entire time too. Nobody wanted to tell me that either. So, hello guys. Sorry I haven't really been in the vlogs lately. I've just been kinda going from hell and back to hell and back, whatever the term is. I've been in here for five days now. I was hoping I could possibly get away with going home, but I don't look like that's gonna happen. I'm not gonna have to be here for a few days. I'm all hooked up on all this. Sorry, I'm, I'm all hooked up on these craziness and so weird and all of that over there. Um, but kind of the update of what's going on is I don't really have any more pain as much. Can you hold that? Yes, I can. I'll be a couple of hours holding like this. I'm a little weak still. I kind of like what Charles said. Right now, I guess they're keeping an eye on my platelets and my white blood cells because my white blood cell count is really low. Like, abnormally low. That's going up. But it's going up, which is positive. My platelets are really, really low. And the doctor, like I have one doctor that says I can go, and the other doctor says I can go, but the doctor, um, in regards to my blood, does not want me to go. I just spoke to a nurse, they're considering a, a platelet transfusion. Why? Because they're low. That could bring them back up. So we got some good news. Allie's going home. You want to do a fist bump, huh? Allie's going home. Oh, you're off too. What? You're so loud. <laughs> Sorry. I'm excited. I know, but I need you to be quiet. Okay. I'm excited. She's going home though. You still have a headache? A little bit. Okay, I'll shut up. I'm the worst person to be around if you have a headache. We're waiting on the discharge. The doctor gave her the okay, and she's got to do some follow ups. The only thing that right now, Allie, unfortunately, won't be going to StreamCon. She, oh, she can't get on a plane, obvious reasons. But I will I be there. Leave my house. Allie's not allowed to leave the bed, essentially, at home. It's just either she wants to be in this bed, or she want to be in her home bed. But I will still be at StreamCon. We're going to have Allie's mom taking care of Allie, because she can't go anywhere by herself, obviously. Amazing news. She's finally out of the hospital. You six days in here, baby. You killed it. Now you get a, a side five. Now we're just waiting the whole discharge process, because I remember that takes forever. So you might as well go back to bed. So a bunch of CTFX seers got together and made Allie a video. And this is the first time she gets to watch it. Now that she's kind of back to normal. Not back to normal, getting back to normal. Being in the hospital sucks, so Allie, I really hope you feel better soon. Thank you everyone for participating in this video, this awesome collab. Much love to Allie, get well soon. Hope that you get well soon. I'm thinking and praying for you, and that I hope you get better soon, and that we see you down here in Melbourne next year. I hope you feel better, Allie. Hi, Allie. I hope you get better soon. And Charles, don't feel alone either. I have to wait with these two. I just want to say get well soon, and all of us here in Maryland, we wish you a speedy recovery. I'll you stand behind you. My dog says hi. I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> better. We love you. We want you to get so home. Awesome. So are you. But you love to see you. They're like everywhere. Good luck, little Allie. That was so nice. I'm crying. That's so good. That was the nicest thing. Yeah, that was really nice. Sorry guys, I just poked myself in the eye. Thank you guys. Thank you. Going on. Sorry, so Oh here. yeah, don't worry, I've lost a lot of hair. <laughs> well guys, as you can see, we are now home and Allie's in her bed. She took a shower and she feels so much better. Step one, just getting her home. Step two, getting better. Step three, for me to take a shower. I gotta get this hospital gunk coffee. So this is why it's amazing to have a massage therapist in the family. <laughs> and I just got word that Zoe and Marley are here at Most and Phil, just brought them by. So I gotta give them a Benadryl so they don't go crazy. Take them straight out back. Where are they? Crazy little fuckers. What'd you get for going up in the front seat? Crazy little shits. You're getting some Benadryl. You cannot jump on Alley. <laughs> it's not like she's on. <laughs> Marley, okay. I just want to say hi. You, you can go say hi. Okay. 
Does little Marley kisses? And Zoe with her big ass kisses. <laughs> Marley, no scratching. See, that was pretty adorable. This is a much better, you're more comfortable here than in the hospital bed, right? Yeah. So we've switched. Allie has to wear the mask. But she's eating non hospital food, so that's good. He's always been on guard duty. Marley's been making sure monsters don't come through. Marley's making sure there's no monsters under the bed. So after a week of being in the freaking hospital, I figured Allie would want to have, you know, a nice little welcome home pizza. Because if you didn't know, the best medicine other than medicine is actually pizza. Now you know. Well, internet, after six freaking days of being at the hospital, almost seven nights, we are finally back at the house. Allie is still sick. Her white blood cells are still low. They're going up. Her platelets are still low. Those will be hopefully going back up. I just have to show you this. Marley and Zoe have not left our side. Zoe's at least listening to the rules and not going on the bed. This one, on the other hand. <laughs> the little dick. Off the bed. Off the bed. Come on. You can't be on the bed. <laughs> Alright, now we moved here. And look at, Allie's actually eating some pizza. Better than hospital food. We are finally home. Allie is almost there. As you can see, she's a little sleepy. We're home. We're back home. No more hospital. And I am so happy. The nurses were so amazing. The doctors were so amazing. And we found out right now about eight people are now sick from that trip that we took, which is really unfortunate and really scary at the same time, which is what we're saying. When you're in the jungle, you have to be careful. And I guess we just weren't careful enough, or I don't know what happened. It's just scary, that's why it's called the jungle. Thank you so much for all your love and support and, and for making that video, you guys are amazing. I'll put a link down in the description if you guys wanna watch it yourself. We will see you guys tomorrow as always. And we won't be in the hospital, which is awesome. So have a good night. Toodles! Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> Enjoy your pizza.